As we get set to go at 135, highly anticipated matchup. Aljamain Funk Master Sterling in the green. Magic Marlon Marais in the yellow and fires that right hand quickly. Yeah, this is a huge fight here in the Bantamweight division. Wow, and Marlon catches a kick and takes him down. He wants no parts of it, though. He wants to keep this fight standing, use that kickboxing. He has great movement. He uses his kicks a lot. And then when he wants to, oh, moves in is Marais. And now oh. goes to the ground. He's hurt. Firing away on the Funkmaster. Oh, he's got his arm. Oh, he's got his arm. Marais in trouble. Spins out of it. Wow. And he Look separates. Back to the center they go. Oh. Big kick. And right on the button to score the knockout victory. Absolutely brutal knockout. And that is classic Marlon Marais. We've seen that from him before outside of the UFC. He got back to the exact ways that he wanted to be and made a huge statement here tonight. We are underway. Coming Whoa. right across with a huge lead. Powerful flying knee. Oh, he's hurt. Trouble, Mike. Trying to push it right here. Just Amir Khani in his UFC debut. I mean, wow, is that something else? If there is an advantage that Brendan Schaub has, it's speed. Both men pack one punch knockout power. And Rockwell looking for it early. Schaub ties him up. Nice uppercut. Good Muay Thai clinch here by Ben if he can get some space. Big knee by Ben. The big boy, Ben Rockwell. Too huge. Oh, the spin oh. caught him. Caught him with the elbow choke. He's dazed. Yep. Good Pushing right forward with a shot. Oh, shot, shot, shot right. Out. Big Ben Rockwell by knockout. Wow, shot doesn't even know what happened. Marching Tabora, the slight minus 130 favorite. Pest is in red. Tabora is in black. Tabora changed his striking coach, focused a lot more on kickboxing. You know, we saw in his UFC debut and past fights, really limited, mostly boxing. He's charging forward, throwing heavy right hands now. As we mentioned off the top, these guys have trained together in the past, not extensively, but several times when. Pesta traveled to Poland. And, and this is what Pesta can't do. This is what he failed at in round one. He's got to make some adjustments. Sitting back, waiting for counter strikes. Did not work. He was outlanded. There he throws a nice combination. Gets off first with whiffs. Like to see him change up. He does have some... Oh! Marcin Tibura! That will work. They are going nuts in Salt Lake City as Marcin Tabora turns in a highlight and the biggest win of his MMA career. White trunks for Barboza, black trunks for Adam. Right away we're seeing great footwork from Adam and Adam was the first guy to go for a takedown, which is a, a bit surprising but not so when you think about his well-rounded game. He likes to strike, but he's more than capable of submitting guys, and he may think that that's where he holds the edge in his fight. You know, a fighter runs into this sort of a situation when you get to a third round and fight that they're losing, but they're hanging in there, and it, it really poses the question, what do you want to do? Do you want to take a chance and risk getting knocked out? Oh, my God! Wow! Wow, I couldn't have... Real kick knockout that we've ever seen. Unbelievable.